What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here and I'm with Jenny Vidal. So Jenny's my girlfriend if you're not aware and we both have a pretty extensive background in being social media influencers. Your specialty has been more Instagram. Yeah. Whereas YouTube is really where I kind of got started with things. But at this point we both do social media full time and we have both downloaded the new Threads app and we want to share our opinions and what mm -hmm. we like and dislike about it with you here in this video. So hopefully you join us here for this conversation as we kind of go over everything on our minds regarding threads. So a little background is that I'm an influencer on Instagram, but also my niche is more lifestyle, whereas Kevin's is more tech. So it's kind of interesting to see cross path on a new social media platform and seeing different brands pop up, different friends pop up, and different audiences pop up. And already I'm seeing differences in different social media apps, right? Instagram has been in long game for a while and we are seeing so many features being implemented from all sorts of uh, different social media. Attention now shifted to threads and I feel like this is the thing. And we've both been Twitter users for a while. I think I'm a little bit more into Twitter than you are, but I think one thing we both have in common is that we don't necessarily make our money from Twitter. Twitter is more of an accessory to our brands as influencers, but you monetize on Instagram, I monetize on YouTube, I do a lot of ad revenue, also sponsorships, you're mostly sponsorships. Right. So Twitter has always been kind of this middle ground in between the two platforms where we mostly use it for networking, connecting with brands, things like that. So when Threads came to the scene, which literally happened yesterday, we both figured we'd give it a try. And were you surprised when it launched? Yes, because <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know about it until you told me. And then you're like, oh, have you, about th have you heard about Threads? I'm like, what is that? You know? <laughs> yeah. So completely, um, definitely surprised. And I feel like already so far I'm seeing differences between Twitter and even for my my own personal use or my, you know, work use, I'm seeing differences on Twitter and threads already. Um, that's I'm finding at this current moment threads quite useful and seeing this like hopeful, a hopeful future of Threads. So it definitely did catch both of us off guard when Threads launched yesterday because technically it was supposed to launch today, July 6th. So as soon as it did launch, I got the notification on my phone because I had pre-ordered or pre-downloaded the app. So I set that up right away and then I told you to set it up. I know. So it is an extension of what Instagram is and Instagram because Instagram is my main platform I thought it would be beneficial and also I just wanted to see if there's more additional community that I could actually interact with and that was kind of the selling factor for me because like Instagram has been just work and you know content content mm -hmm. whereas like I feel like maybe threads that's where it's kind of closing the gap between the audiences and me or like influencers in general and I feel like this hopeful future is coming through have this having this creating this community where people could just chat and yeah. interact exactly yeah now Instagram of course you can DM you can go in the comments and debate in there and everything Instagram has pretty much been photo and video based ever since the beginning so they could have added text posts to the feed, kind of make it almost like Facebook. So, but apparently they decided just to make a completely separate app. Now, are you glad that there's a separate app with threads being completely a different service from Instagram almost? I mean, the only thing really that you have in common at this point is that they share the same account, but everything on threads is nearly separate. I know that you can share on your stories, your threads, but that's really the only integration as of now between the two. Yeah, so yes and no, because, you know, as an influencer, learning a new app, um, learning a new platform and expanding your um, horizons to continuing to grow on each platform, it's quite um, overwhelming at times. <laughs> but I do believe that the future or the future of threads will be well integrated and it will be more cohesive back and forth between two apps. And I feel like 
the things that you get from threads will be very different than what you get from Instagram from here on. And come on, it's 2023. Like if you launch an app, you better have your game together. Yeah. If you can't just have an old Twitter app and just call it threads. It has to have much better. Yeah, they have to do something different. Yeah, it's exactly. not like they can just clone Twitter and expect everyone to switch over from Twitter. Yeah. And on that note too, I wanted to mention that it's not like either of us necessarily have a problem with Twitter itself. I think the biggest thing to gain out of threads existing is that there's some really serious competition to Twitter and hopefully that really puts the pressure on Twitter to continue to improve and add extra features and really compete head to head with threads because this is definitely the most competition we've ever seen to Twitter since the beginning. I don't think Facebook has really posed much of a competitor itself to Twitter and mm. Twitter is kind of just a thing of its own for a long time. It's definitely some nice competition. I'm also curious to see if, um, you know how like I joined Twitter when it was already saturated. So there was like limit to growth and mm -hmm. not me just being an influencer, but just as a person who wants followers, right? Just in yeah. general. And I'm kind of curious to see if that's the same situation with threads. It, once it gets saturated, would it stop or limit your growth? Or would it be a different implementation that will help you to grow even after extended amount of time. Now, that's probably talking, we're like talking t a decade, right? Because mm -hmm. that's the only way we would know. But I have a good feeling, this like gut feeling as a, like a social media influencer gut feeling, if you will. And I feel like there's gonna be some sort of implementation between the threads and Instagram app that will bring much features and much more um, positive output and positive output. And I feel like there's some sort of um, I, I guess there can't be endless growth, but maybe something to kind of help with the saturation of like limiting mm -hmm. your growth. I, well, this is just my hope, but <laughs> I feel like yeah. there, there's some sort of going to be like, everyone has their own place in threads. That's the, that's the community vibe I'm getting right now. And I'm kind of excited about it. Yeah. So the features within threads, I have it right here. It is pretty limited. It's not like they've, they've definitely not copied every feature in Twitter. If anything, only half the features are here. And the leadership of threads, like the Instagram leadership, I forget the CEO's name, but uh, under Zuckerberg though, mm -hmm. uh, that CEO has acknowledged that they have big plans to add more features and they're kind of taking it step by step based on user feedback. But what is your favorite feature so far? What's something that really stands out to you about threads? I know you're looking at threads right now, yeah. kind of uh, thinking about that, but what what have you found so far that's kind of the biggest surprise? I think, um, I think actual surprise is the simplicity. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of training tool for you to understand how this app works rather than bombarding you with like 5,000 features, which then you don't know which one to focus on and you don't know what to use and what to choose between all the features. But rather, this Threads app is saying, okay, Threads is all about posting um, captions or keywords and focus on that first. And I think that was why, that's why it was in the center of the navigation too. So you focus much more on posting first. Sure. And then through posting, you get engaging audiences, you get to have a conversation going on. And then when you hit obviously home screen, you could do mo a lot of thread chains. <laughs> oh yeah. Is yeah. That, are these called just threadings? Something threading? like that, yeah. <laughs> I don't I mean, know the right terms yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I noticed yesterday, most of the posts, you know, day one, most people are just posting, I'm on the app. Good to be here. Hello, everybody. And it does seem like today there's a bit more substance in some of these conversations. Yeah, I agree. Uh, a lot more uh, just literal threads, just people replying to other people and, and really talking about stuff. Yeah, so I totally agree. And I, I start to see this shift in gear even within 24 hours now, um, which is so crazy because yesterday was all about, okay, goodbye, Twitter hello threads kind of sentiment in every yeah. single platform or every single channel and now today is like okay we're about this like they're just starting to talk about niche today mm -hmm. so i feel like each day is going to be more focusing on what their um, channel is all about yeah and also what i really appreciate with threads so far 
is how videos actually show up in 9x16, the vertical format. Whereas if you upload vertical video to Twitter, it shows up in the feed as a square. So sometimes yeah. it like, you know, doesn't even show my head, for example. <laughs> like it, it just, it, it bear, you know, it, it just doesn't work very well doing it that way. I don't know why they haven't switched that to full vertical video, but with threads, they're doing that. I really like this carousel as well, mm -hmm. where you can see your photos and videos and you can mix photos and videos as, as well here and it goes really smoothly. Um, there are a few bugs I noticed with playing audio from various videos that doesn't always work completely well. A little bit buggier too on Android I noticed compared to iOS, but I think they'll be fixing those bugs as time goes on, definitely sooner than later. So I feel like that's a really cool feature, right? Being able to mix the video and photo because you can't do... You could do that a bit on Instagram, but it's quite limited. Yeah, and kind of on um, Twitter, but it looks ugly. Yeah. So, yeah, and you know, as an Instagram influencer, like nine to sixteen is go to like because you could see the full surface, and you do want to show that. So like, mm -hmm. it's always pain in the butt like to not have that, have it down. Um, also, a lot less compression for photos yeah. and videos compared to Twitter. Actually, I guess Twitter doesn't really compress photos anymore, but definitely for videos. And uh, oh, also. Tell them about uh, Meta Verified and how that carried over really well. Yeah, so I'm uh, Meta Verified or Verified on Meta, and it was literally easy sign up. And once you sign up, the verification or the blue check just, just uh, blue check just shows right up on your thread. So it's like a really great way to get. You know, I feel like there we also like if you guys if you guys are meta verified, you would know. If you don't, then you you have an extensive amount of services that they provide, mm -hmm. and I feel like that service will be extended to Threads users. So yeah. I'm excited about that. Yeah, and your main reason for signing up for Meta Verified, other than the blue check, no, <laughs> <laughs> that is that really even yeah. important anymore? Probably not. Your reason for signing up for Meta Verified is for uh, priority customer support and things mm -hmm. like that because. Instagram is your main platform, so you want to make sure that you have close contact with Instagram themselves, and of course, also, you never know social media, so people could pose as you, and uh, what's cool with Meta Verified is they actually verify you, unlike Twitter, where you just pay and they don't actually check that you're you. Yeah, and so. one thing I did notice is I did try the customer service after I got Meta Verified, and they respond to you within 24 hours, which is mm -hmm. really great. And I feel like that service will continue and I have very um, high hopes for Meta Verified users on Instagram as well as Threads. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, we've covered a lot so far, but let's talk about a few more things. Uh, sure. The first question is, what features should be added? I know that we kind of applauded, I know that we kind of applauded threads at first for being simplistic, but at the mm -hmm. same time, some of that simplicity comes with not having all the features we might want or need. So what would you like to see added? You don't have to go over every feature, but what are, what are some of the top ones? Um, I feel like, I feel like there should be definitely a much better segue getting back and forth between cross platform between Instagram and threads. I think that's, that's like my main hurdle because otherwise then you're mm -hmm. hopping off one app and then you're going to another and there's it's not a smooth transaction and it really hurts the point of going cross platforms and I think that is definitely a feature I would like to see it added as a content creator. They're almost too separated. Yeah, too yeah. separate. Like it doesn't like it's like it's like if you're selling like apples and oranges in one company kind of feel right now. It's like similar, but not really. So yeah. I feel like there's some, some sort of integration that needs to happen where it's smooth transactions, smooth integration between the two, where it seems seamless transaction between the cross-platform experience. Yeah, no, that's a good point, yeah. Yeah, it's almost inconvenient at this point having them be separate apps, but at the same time, if they were both the same app, that would also be annoying. Yeah. So yeah, they <laughs> yeah, it's to kind of a tough sweet, situation. Yeah, yeah, they need to find a sweet spot where it's kind of like, you want to use both apps, but mm -hmm. it still has to be integrated enough that you want to use both apps yeah. and not get overwhelmed over one over the other. Also, it'd be really nice to be able to more easily share Instagram content within yeah. threads. For example, I feel like posting photos is a little bit redundant with 
like if you're gonna post a photo on threads, shouldn't it also show up on your Instagram account? Like the two are kind of redundant. Like a shareable, you, do you mean? I don't know, it, it just, like I shouldn't have, like if I have the same photo mm -hmm. and I wanna put it on both Instagram and threads, it doesn't seem like I should have to upload it to both platforms separately. There should be a way just to just upload to one of them and it shows up on the other. Yeah. Uh, also, we're both big into making IG Reels and if you want to share an IG Reel onto threads, you have to kind of like copy and paste the link and that's mm -hmm. pretty much it. So it would be nice if there was a more organic way to share reels. And then also, we're missing hashtags, which I know you're big on hashtags. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, so my first few threads, my first few threads, I tried using hashtag just in case this works. He didn't tell me anything about it, so I'm, you know, just trying it. He just made that account for me. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was trying it, and I was like trying all these different threads to see what sticks and what works, what doesn't. And as of right now, I hashtag doesn't work. I mean, SEO is probably implemented, but it's not enough to be there to be searching. So I don't even understand at this point what's really catching on. It's yeah. like we have to see for at least like, I don't know, each day, each week for 30 days. I think it's going to be such huge implementation by week or uh, by month. Mm -hmm. I think day 30 will probably have a completely different app. Yeah, and they definitely do need to be a little bit aggressive about adding new features because if people get tired of the app being so bare bones, they might just forget about it and stop using it. So I would definitely recommend that they kind of add new features almost every week. It'd be cool if like every Monday or something they dropped a bunch of new features, but we'll see what happens. So I have a question for you. You have been more extensive user on Twitter than I have been, right? So mm -hmm. like you know that the texting or the the keyword search engine uh, word based platform much better than I do. So, in your opinion, as an influencer, do you think it will survive? So it's tough because I like Twitter a lot. It's not like I want to see Twitter disappear in exchange for Threads. On the other hand, I like how Threads is kind of bringing a fresh new experience into text based social networking. But I kind of feel like both might have trouble coexisting unless the two apps kind of go in different directions on the type of crowd that they're attracting. So like what I mean by that is maybe Twitter becomes more more of a uh, more maybe more of a casual app, whereas Threads is a little more I don't know polished content. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. like you improvise more on Twitter, and then on Threads it's more polished, kind of like how an Instagram post. You don't just post Instagram posts like you would, uh, you know, even post a Facebook status. You'd probably put a little bit more thought and effort into a uh, Instagram post. So it'd be nice if maybe the in, uh, Threads and Twitter kind of differentiate based on that. If that makes sense. Uh, okay. Yeah, because I really would like to see both survive and, and both have good, you know, both end up having strong communities and uh, good content. So I really hope they both kind of find their own lane. I know that for TikTok and Reels, it does kind of seem like they've found their own lane. I feel like right. they complement each other, but at the same time, I personally use both. So I, I would love for Twitter and Threads to kind of end up in that same situation. And it's not the same because what trends on TikTok it doesn't really trend on Reels. It's a very different market. It's different audiences, different usage for them. And I personally feel like, you know, I know like it's it's much different. And you know, adding also YouTube Shorts onto the on top of that is too like they're although they're all vertical um, photo or video based um, platforms, they all have different. Um, usage for them. They, yeah. they have different purposes, different audiences, and different niche for them. Yeah. So currently, I, I think that you're right. I think eventually they will find a happy ground where Twitter and Threads will coexist. Yeah. And maybe even partner, even, you know, like competitors actually partnering with one another to stronger together mm -hmm. kind of vibe. And that's kind of the concept for now. Like, yeah. The, 2023 uh, yeah. level of social medias. Yeah, but yeah, to kind of close things off here, I'm really excited about threads. It's always nice to see competition, and I don't necessarily want competition in the sense that there's a winner and a loser, but hopefully 
everybody can win together and the two apps, Twitter and Threads, can kind of build each other up with increased competition. Yeah. But any other thoughts to yeah, uh, I have, share? I, anything else? I, as I've been I mean, we saying, could talk about this all day. <laughs> I know. I'm sure, too, we'll probably be making follow-up videos yeah. getting more in-depth. Uh, just We kind of want to make this video just kind of touching on everything related to Threads and kind of introducing you to our thoughts about it. But yeah, I I have high hopes. Um, yeah. I kind of wonder if Threads will also help my Instagram account grow too. That's so it. They yeah, that's do right. That back and forth. So it will be interesting to see the growth level, or if that growth will be exponential as I, as it has been on my Threads account. So that yeah. that will be ideal for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. It'll be kind of cool to see. Same for me too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. Uh, thank too. you for this chat. Yeah, and yeah. Thank you for introducing me to Threads. That's right. So follow Jenny B. Doll on Threads and Instagram <laughs> and YouTube and anywhere else in social media. And of course, my name is Kevin Breeze. Check out my stuff on Threads as well. But thanks again, everyone, for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.